Welcome to Live Mobile Technology. This is Troy speaking. Today we'll show you how to upgrade your Synology RS820 Plus Rack Station. Our client here today is using a storage upgrade for his RS820 Plus. As you can see here, the client system has four 4 terabyte drives, and at the current moment, the system is configured at RAID 5 and is at 68% full of its 10 terabyte capacity. Right here, we're going to upgrade to Seagate's 12 terabyte Iron Wolf drive. All right, we're going to go double check what's our current model, just to double check that this is a RS820 Plus uh, Synology system. On your top left hand corner, we're going to click on this icon right here. Go head over to control panel and go to info center. It will show you all your basic information and also our model name right here, which is the RS820. So right here, we're at the server rack. Here is the 820 plus. This is the first bear here. Pop out this latch and carefully slide it out. And just double checking that this is the four terabyte uh, from Seagate Iron Wolf. Once your old hard drive is removed, you notice that your web server will display a critical issue. If you look down below, you'll also notice that your first bay is grayed out or inactive. So let's replace the hard drive and upgrade the system. So right here is our drive bay that we just removed. And underneath are four screws that are securing it. Once removed, we can uh, upgrade it to our new tel terabyte drive. Once the new hard drive is installed, let's head back to the server. Carefully slide the bay back in and lock the latch. Once that's done, we gotta head back to our web server to initialize our drive to the storage pool. So, once the new hard drive is plugged in, you're gonna notice on the top right hand, it's gonna give you a pop-up saying that a new drive has been reinserted. What we're gonna do is head over onto your hard drive and SSD and click on drive bay one. We're gonna go click on manage available drives right there. Uh, it'll give you three options, but we're go what we're gonna do is repair, which is we're gonna repair a storage pool. Click on storage pool one or whichever you're using. Click on the drive that you're gonna propagate and click next. Please note, this will take roughly about five to seven hours depending on your system and your storage. Please note that do not add or remove any drives till that repairing is a hundred percent you will and may lose data if you do once you do not see any more progress down at your volume you can rinse and repeat this process for the next three drives thanks for watching my training video and help me by subscribing to my youtube channel this will help me a lot. Visit me online at www.livemobiletechnology.com. And if you like this video, click on the like button for me at the bottom of the screen.